What's up NBA fans, Dom2K on the mic and today I'm doing something I never normally do and I'm going to take a few quizzes on the Hardwood Amino app for NBA. Now if you remember I've been talking about this app since around December, it's definitely a great app for basketball fans. The quizzes are something that are relatively new, I don't believe they were around when I first talked about this app in my video so I figured I'd go ahead and give them a shot. I figured I'd just go ahead and try out three of them on camera, see what I get right, see what I get wrong and afterwards I'll tell you a little bit more about the app and you can decide and see for yourself if this is something you would like. If what you're seeing on your screen right now looks like something you would be interested in anyways i have the links in the description and on the comment on the video where you can download this for both android and ios so you can click those if you want to follow along so as i probably said at the beginning of the video i'm going to be taking a total of about three quizzes today maybe more they should be pretty short i'm going to start with what team did they not play for and this should be generally pretty easy because through watching the nba for a while playing a lot of 2k with the classic rosters and just doing a lot of the research i've done i should know where these guys have played and where they didn't so we'll see if they can trip me up so starting with Sean Livingston, this is an NBA journeyman. After he uh, messed up his knee, he went to a lot of teams. I remember the Wizards and the Nets. I don't, I never seen him in a Bulls jersey. I don't know if he played for the Heat, but I never, okay, cool, we're right. Never seen him in a Bulls jersey, but I don't remember seeing him in the Heat jersey either. So somebody needs to remind me when that happened. That was probably one of his shortest stints. Mo Williams played a lot of places. I remember his best days with the Bucks. He scored 50 with the uh, Wolves. He did play for the Jazz, so that means it has to be the Grizzlies he didn't play for. Cool. Okay, yeah, he played a lot of places, too. Finally got a championship last year in Cleveland. Shaquille O'Neal. Wow, really? This is too easy. Shaquille O'Neal didn't play for... He played for a lot of teams. This might trip newer fans up, but he didn't play for the Clippers. That would have been funny. Nobody that good played for the Clippers. Then we're moving to... Who is... Okay, Richard Jefferson. Richard Jefferson played a couple of places. He's been around for a long, long time. His best days were with the Nets... He didn't play for the Nuggets. I've never seen him in a Nuggets jersey. I don't remember when he played with the Jazz, because apparently, according to this, he did, but I do not remember him ever playing on the Nuggets. That's really weird. Jeremy Lin has not been that long since Lin Sanity happened with New York. Right before that, he was with the Warriors. Of course, he played with LA with Kobe. He never played for Boston, though. I would have to have my Celtic fan card revoked if I picked Boston, or if I didn't pick Boston right there. We never had Jeremy Lin. And Moses Malone. Wow. You know, this one would probably trip a lot of people up because I bet a lot of you don't know that he actually did play for the San Antonio Spurs towards the end of his career. It's actually the Jazz out of these that he did not play with. Yeah, most people probably would not know that he played with the uh, Spurs. That, I, I'm pretty sure that was at the very end. I'm pretty sure. And Nate Robinson. Wow, this could trip a lot of people up as well because he's been around. The Celtics foolishly traded him to the Thunder. He played for the Warriors for just a little bit. Never played for the Hawks, though, but he's trying to get back to the NBA, so maybe he will one day. And that's it. I went 7 for 7 on that quiz, so that one was pretty easy. Okay, for the second one, we're going to be trying to name the NBA player based on the baby photo. Now, this one is definitely going to be a little bit harder because I obviously haven't gone that <laughs> I haven't gone that far in history to look up players' baby pictures. I've seen LeBron a couple of times inadvertently, but yeah, I have not seen most of them. So uh, let's go ahead and get this one started. I expect to get some wrong and right off the bat. I have no clue who this is. This is a grainy photo. It's too dark to be Carl Anthony Towns. That's Iggy. That is definitely Andre Iguodala. Okay, yeah, the face matched up when I saw the name. I can probably look at the names and tell, but if I had to name these, and <laughs> this looks like a little girl, doesn't it? Wow, I know it's not MJ. MJ wouldn't have hair like that. I'm going to say because Russell Westbrook tends to dress like a female sometimes. That's probably Westbrook. I was right. Okay, cool. Yeah, the, the hair gave that away right there. I'm not. We're not going to go any further with that. <laughs> that's Rasheed Wallace. I can tell before. Okay, no, 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 no. That's Bruce Bowen, actually. Yeah, that's definitely Bruce Bowen. You can tell by the face. That's Bruce Bowen this oh that's probably pierce based off the names that is definitely paul pierce and i think i've seen a picture of him when he was a kid anyways yeah i've seen that exact picture when he was a kid so that gave it away and this is definitely not in beat of barkley because it almost looks light skinned the picture is deceptive because i want to say glenn davis but he has a really really big face that was probably Shaq. all right cool I, yeah the size of the face gave it away right there <laughs> That was definitely a uh, size thing. Um, this is Steph Curry. I can already tell. You can just tell by the face of Steph Curry. No challenge there. Okay. Almost, we're on the roll here. Oh. That's Kid. That's Jason Kid. Because it's a white kid. And it's not Steph or Seth. Oh, is it Aaron? No, that's Jason Kid. That has to be Jason Kid. Awesome. I could have picked Aaron Gordon right there. That one could have went either way. Jason Kid and Aaron Gordon there. Wow. <laughs> that could have went either way. Wow, how are you supposed to tell this? 
That's not D Rose. This is probably Dwight. No, 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 it's Monte. It's Monte. Okay, ooh, I almost picked Monte. I almost picked Dwight Howard right there. The skin is giving some of these away because when it's light skin, you can tell. This is Blake. No, 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 no. This is that one guy who married the Kardashian. <laughs> like that narrows it down. How many people married Kardashian? This is Chris Humphreys. Okay. <laughs> Next. The kid who married a Kardashian. Wow. Um. Okay, Carmelo Anthony. I don't think he had hair like that ever. It's not Chris Webber. I've seen Chris Webber's baby picture, I believe, on his Twitter. This looks like Chauncey Billups' face. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that looked like Chauncey Billups in the face a lot. I might do a couple more of these because they haven't been able to trip me up so far. I haven't gotten any wrong. And oh, this is the last one. That's too light to be Mario Chalmers. Too light to be Jabari. Too light to be Gilbert. So it has to be Al Horford. Yeah, the skin gave that one completely away. They could have made that one a little bit more challenging by having more light skin uh, options because it gave it away. And I'm 11 for 11 on this one. So I think I might do more just until I get one wrong. What do you think? Okay, so for this last one, we're going to be doing Who Am I Obscure Guards Edition. And I believe this is going to be the last one. Don't want to make this video too long. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what this means, but we're just going to play it anyway. It says medium difficulty. So maybe I won't go perfect for today. Maybe I'm going to... uh finally mess up on when i played 10 years in the nba okay is that a joke alan ray was that really somebody because that's like ray allen backward that's definitely not alan that's not tony oh that was just a lucky guess because i didn't know between alan ray and alvin williams i honestly did not know who that was that was just a lucky guess oh this is that guy i know who this is i <laughs> i I think this is Whitehead, right? Okay, yeah, he plays for the Nets right now. I saw him one time. I only remember him for one very specific reason. I'm not even going to get into it. This is definitely, uh, I share a historic moment with Michael Jordan. Yeah, this is Craig Elo. Your most famous moment is getting uh, your heart broken in front of your entire city in the playoffs. MJ's the shot. Everyone should know what that is. Okay, I, complete, I competed in the 1997 dunk contest. I know Bob Sura was in a dunk contest. Cool. Yeah, that's the only reason because they cut off his face right there, so I couldn't really tell who it was. But yeah, Bob Sura, I remember. When you watch NBA TV, you know a lot of stuff that you don't even really know that you know. That's definitely Chris Duhon. I remember him. Me and my friend used to make fun of him all the time because he was no good. Uh, when he played here on the Magic, he's, yeah, you know. I'm a journeyman. Okay, that's not Earl Boykins because he'd be a lot, he'd be way smaller. Marcus Landry is actually not that. Okay, I'm just gonna click one. Wow, luck. That was luck because I know the name Speedy Claxton, but I've never actually seen a picture of him. That was good luck right there. This guy is from 2K. He scored 53 points in an NBA game. I see. No, that's not the guy from 2K. Uh, I'm gonna get this one wrong, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get the. Uh, wow, lucky pick. I'm getting extremely lucky on these picks. I, <laughs> I don't even know who this is. I have no clue. This one I'm definitely getting wrong. Yeah, see, I told you guys I was going to get that one wrong. That was Terrell. Yeah, see, I've never heard of this dude in my life. And so my luck finally ran out because on that last quiz there, I swear to God, I did not know most of those guys. I just, I was able to eliminate two and just guess on the last one. So luck finally ran out there and that's where I'm going to stop quizzing. Now, if you want the app where I was taking these quizzes, it's called Hardwood Amino for NBA. And if you're a basketball fan, this really just is in general a good app for you. It's a place where if there's a game going on, you can always come to the public chats. And more often than not, there's always a chat available for you to get in and talk with a bunch of the members about what's going on. And you can just discuss basketball topics in general. You can make your own thread once you get to a certain level. As you can see, I have my profile right here. So you can follow me. You can post on my wall. You can message me. Um, yeah, when I first got this app, this is like where I was communicating with my fans the most. So it's definitely good for that. And as you can see here on the front page, they always have stories for things that are going on. Like right here, I didn't even know as I'm scrolling, Russell Westbrook supposedly tied the record for missed field goals in a playoff game. I did not even know that until I just scrolled past it. So that's just an example of how you can learn some things on this front page. And yeah, this is the app that I use to take the quizzes. So if you're interested in connecting with me or taking some quizzes like I just did, make sure you get this app. It's for Android and iOS and it's in the description box. I'm going to have to link in the first comment that's pinned on the video. And I hope to see you all there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I'm Dom2K. Hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications on my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.